America, you need to have good enough academics as well as being hugely talented at football. At Banty, skills are taught on and off the pitch. These skills are hugely important for these young student athletes for their later life. I'm here to investigate how Banty actually do it. Let's go. President and CEO. Um, so my role um, is to work as CEO with the team on the ground to make sure we implement uh, the policies and strategies agreed by the board. As a president is to work closely with the chairman and the board to make sure we have a clear vision, mission and strategy that the team on the ground can execute uh, um, as well as support all the other activities. Except economic hardships. Zimbabwe has been facing renewed economic troubles in recent years, and ordinary people have been voicing their frustration. A series of protests in the country is piling pressure on President Robert Mugabe's government. Most of these kids, uh, I can say all of them, uh, they can't afford to have uh, such a Here, the population is devastated by the highest rate of HIV AIDS in the world. Here, nearly 600 people die every day due to AIDS. Oh, I was, I was really excited. I was really excited. It was. For me, it was it was all it almost felt like I was dreaming, like because I thought I'm just you, and all these things are happening to me. It, it, I was I was in shock knowing that I was going. I had to wait until I was on the plane to realize, oh my god, I'm actually leaving. Then game I go, I'm until I'm 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 at the, I'm, I'm in the USA. I'll be excited when I'm I'm over there. <laughs> I was very happy that I got a 
opportunity to go study in USA. From the beginning, I didn't want to leave my parents, but of course, I had to in order to go visit. This is a two two room. Here, student athletes practice for exams, which has had a huge opportunity in their lives going to America. Not only do they practice for exams here, but they learn that academics are just as important as football in life. Uh, it was like different. I was scared at all at first, actually. Like the, the way like the flights take off, like I was really scared. I tried to like, I tried like well, with uh, with all like possibility, just like pull like m more noise in my like <laughs> listen to like music, like pull like blast like the sound so I don't like hear anything. Once I got on the plane, I was like, okay, let's do this. Like I didn't eat anything. I'm starting like a new life, like like USA people. I don't know how like they want like people to act. I was nervous about uh, meeting new people. I didn't know how they were gonna treat me. How is part to adjust to? And like at first, like, like you was, I was so excited to like see the snow, considering that like there is no snow like in in Africa at all. So at first, like my first time seeing the snow, I went outside play. But like the second, third day, I was like, man, I need this thing to be over. I need to get, like, I need I need like winter to be over. Shock for me. I remember it was in the fall, fall of 2009 playing, it was my first snow day and it snowed during practice. I couldn't move. I couldn't move a single muscle. Really culture shock at first. The food and all that stuff, it's kind of different. I didn't go straight to school. My host family picked me up and then like they have a summer house in Fire Island. Like, at first like they were watching a movie like everyone all the families like gathered and watched the movie and then like in between the movie it was like a musical movie in between the movie they'll stop the movie and then like one family will go up with a stage just like start singing i was like wait <laughs> the movie is not done yet like why are they doing this i was fortunate enough to have a family take me in right away uh, i was homesick uh, for the first day i was like really really like homesick like i i, I really wanted to be in america uh but I really wanted to be home with my family. I really missed it. Like that was like the quickest thing I just said I just said to. Like the food was good. I, like I wanted to keep eating more. It was there. I can't lie to you and say, oh I was perfect. I came in spoke English. Everything worked out smoothly. Uh, at first. At first like no one could understand me. <laughs> and they, <laughs> like I would say like even I couldn't understand like even Americans because they they talk really fast. Uh people would, like talk talk and then like they were like uh, do you know what we're talking about? I'm like, no. And then like, they'll be talking for like 15, 10 to 15 minutes about me, right? And then I would just hear my name, I would just hear my name. Not even hearing what they're talking about. And then all something, I would say something, and then people would be like, what? <laughs> or oh, people would be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I say, even if I say like, oh, listen, we gotta go to the car, uh, we gotta, uh, I gotta, I gotta wait. Let's turn around, let's go. And then people would be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But keep going, because they won't understand what I'm saying, you know? I used to say like, ish. 
I can laugh. Like if I and then like my coach one day was like, what does that mean? And I was like, it means like oh, like it means like oh, and then like nah. It does like you gotta use oh, like no one understands. People think that you're kissing it there. So like I thought like um uh schools here in America were gonna be like uh we're gonna be like uh, our schools in in Africa. Like just like wear one outfit like the whole week, like just come back home, wash it, and love you outfit for it. So I brought like less clothes. And then my family when they saw me, like I, I pulled up with only my like suitcase, like a small suitcase like <laughs> this. And then they were like, Oh, are your clothes following you? Like uh, are they delivering your clothes? Like the, the air the airline is it delivering your clothes? I was like, nah, this is all my clothes. They're like, man, you're not even go last a month this girl. It's a small duffel bag, like I'd say pretty it's a carry-on. <laughs> so I didn't have enough clothes or anything to be able to be here and survive not only just the soccer pitch but winters here so forth i didn't have enough gear so i had to get it here and but i feel like here it's harder than it's harder because like here you have to take like different classes a semester in africa you take only like five classes the whole year and then that's it here you have to take like Maybe like 30. Academics were a little bit challenging at first. As a student athlete, you have to strike a balance between academics and sport. Uh, in a year, mm -hmm. and it's really, it's really, really hard. In Zimbabwe, we always play, we always play in the deck. So like, seeing anything with grass over here was was pretty cool. I remember playing my first game on a turf. And I had never seen a turf before. I'd seen it in TV. I grew up playing out there, sneaking and jumping fences just to get in and go kick a soccer ball uh, made from plastic. Like, like oh, when I came over here, like my game like was so much better because like, like, I had everything uh, from like uh, uh, from like uh, the field to uh, to kids, uh, boots to like uh, practice gear. To like water like uh, 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 during practices uh, really like made me get adjusted because like if I have a problem I'm not really shy to be honest like asking people like oh listen so what do I do here I went to go get cleats and I went to Walmart so Walmart like Walmart it's really it's a big store like you so when I got into Walmart I thought oh my god like what is going on like there's so much there's too many choices there were a lot of choices and sadly I didn't even know any of the choices. It was just like, oh, guess what? There's 10 different kinds of shampoos. Which one do you want? And I'm like, ah, uh, no, I don't use shampoo. We use soap at home. <laughs> Sometimes it was difficult. It was difficult to be away from home. Uh, but I would say like, because I knew where I was coming from and my situation, I like being lonely was not gonna help me or being like, oh my God, I miss home, I wanna go home. So that was for me, I thought about like the future and realized that if I start thinking more about going home or stuff about that, it's not gonna help me in the long run. So I need to start thinking more along the lines of, okay, I miss home, but what are the ways that I can stay in contact with people at home and also not miss them that much? I'd say my adjustment only took about three months. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's really, it's really, really hard. Mm -hmm.
always think that you can always reach for the star. Be open-minded. Have a tremendous amount of experience, experienced people that have been here, that have actually experienced the same thing I mean I have experienced. And I think for people that are trying to come in, I think they should use that as an advantage and listening and to them and getting an advice and not to just get over their head. So I'm saying, if you're at Bantu Rovers or Grassroots, use that experience.